All right, and welcome to CIS 4710, Section 1. Uh, they're my guinea pigs for YouTube this week. And uh, this is going to be on Lab 4, uh, the Wireless Penetration Lab. So what I have done is I have created a Linksys access point with SSID Linksys. All right. And... Uh, you can try and connect to this or you can have somebody that can connect to this if they know the password all right and I don't care I will tell you the password the password is password so you can work with this in groups of two I don't mind or you can do it solo if you don't want to do this in the telecom lab because this this box will be in the telecom lab it's uh, it's accessible I have it in the racks in the very back if you want to do this at home on your home router, that's perfectly fine. Now, if you live with a bunch of roommates or your parents or your grandparents or somebody else, please give them a heads up that you're going to be hacking your wireless so that you don't get that, hey, why is the internet down look from, you know, your significant other family members, roommates, etc. Okay, so just have a little bit of consideration before, before hacking. All right, uh, on that, uh, what I have is I have the uh, alpha... Uh, adapter that I was showing you guys and you don't have to necessarily have this alpha adapter but you can have a similar one or a panda uh, something that has a chipset that can go into monitor slash promiscuous mode all right you need that in order for it to uh, work so as I'm showing the class here the little blue light on the alpha is flashing that's how I have connectivity it's connected into my host machine my laptop all right how do I know that is there if you see here, I'm hooked up to the SSID called Linksys. That's perfectly fine. If you're doing this at home, you do not have to call it Linksys. You don't have to change your um, router at all. You don't have to change your SSID. This is what I do suggest you do, though. I have this set up in WPA personal, okay? Not WPA2 personal. Definitely not WPA anything enterprise, okay? The reason for that is, you can do this with WPA2, but when you go to crack the um, password and capture the four-way handshake, the WPA four-way handshake, it's going to take forever. So, work to the wise, cut to the chase, just use WPA, don't use WPA2, same steps, same ideology, just it will go a lot faster for you. All right, so now that I'm connected, I have access to the internet. The first thing I need to do is I need to start generating traffic, all right? Because for this to work, I'm going to spin up my um, Cali box, and I'm going to find the MAC address of my other wireless adapter. So keep in mind, I'm using two wireless adapters here. The wireless adapter that you see where I'm connected to Linksys, that is my wireless adapter on my laptop, you know, um, uh, hole. All right, so it's my actual adapter inside. The adapter that I'm going to be using within Kali is going to be the external wireless NIC, the Alpha. Okay, so just so you have that kind of understanding. So I'm going to go ahead and spin up my Kali box here. Sucker on. All right. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to also show you guys the how to. So I have this URL. It's in the announcements. It's also in the um, lab for assignment in uh, under assignments. So this URL right here. You have a little bit of seeing the whole thing. Okay, this will walk you through how to do this step by step. There's a few little idiosyncrasies that you have to change, that you have to do a change, like interface names, MAC addresses, etc. Okay, well, I'll, I'll step you through that as we go through it, though. Okay, so step one, make sure you have Kali installed and log in. Done. Step number two, OK, 
connect up your wireless adap adapter, in this case my alpha, so that Kali sees it. forever today. There we go. All right. So how you can tell that is down here at the lower right hand corner, if you watch where I'm putting my cursor, I have a little USB um, icon that's in the VMware toolbar. All right, this one right here. All right, you can see it's grayed out. All right, so that is telling you that the Kali VM is not seeing the adapter. So if I do a if config, all right, I see my F0, which is my normal IP on my virtual network adapter, and I'm seeing my loopback adapter. Okay. There's another command that you can do specifically for wireless interfaces, IW config. All right, and it sees no wireless adapters whatsoever. Okay. So watch what I do when I go ahead and click on this. And I disconnect it from my host and connect it into my virtual machine. Okay, I got a little bit of a, I don't know if you heard that on the mic, but uh, you know, the ding ding from Windows saying that, oh yeah, something got disconnected. So now you see that I have a little um, uh, green light here where it's flashing. All right, and you also see Every now and again, if you look at the, your adapter, the little blue light will flash just a, just a little bit. So now if I do that IW config, I now have a WLAN 0 interface because it is recognized. If I do an IF config, I have that same WLAN 0 interface. Okay, So that is step two. Make sure that you have your network interface card connected and that your Kali VM recognizes it. Step three. Disconnect from all wireless networks, open a terminal, and type Airmon ng. Okay, so with that, there's a couple of little things here. I'm not connected to any wireless um, network at all with uh, Kali. Okay, no problem. So now if I type in uh, Airmon ng, okay, it gives me the um, chipset and everything else. All right. Uh, what I need to do next is I need to do a um, uh, start the uh, Airmon service. But before I do that, I need to ensure that I have a few of these um, services killed because if I don't, uh, the adapter may try to bark out and get a DHCP address. It could, it, it's harder to put it into a promiscuous mode. So what I would need to do is I need to do the airmon-ng space check kill command. Airmon-ng check kill. And what that does is it kills the WPA supplicant and the DH client so it doesn't get a um, IP address on the on the device and the WPA supplicant allows you to put it into monitor mode. All right, so next on the list, we're gonna go ahead and do that Airmon-ng start. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to change, oh, WLAN 0, excuse me, space WLAN 0, yeah, give it the interface name, all right? What that's going to do is it's going to change the name of WLAN 0 to WLAN 0 mon, saying that, oh, now I'm in monitor mode, now I'm in promiscuous mode, there it goes. You see right here, WLAN 0 mon, it kind of breaks it up. So now if I do it if config. You can see that my WLAN 0 has changed to WLAN 0 mon. So this is going to be very, very important for the t commands that we type out uh, in the future. All right, moving on. 
step five. Now we're going to start scanning the air. And we're going to use the arrow dump dash ng command coupled with the monitor interface. Airmon zero, um, uh, WLAN zero mon, excuse me. <laughs> so uh, as I'm going through this, I'm not really making any notes quite yet. What I suggest you do, all right, at this point in time, because we're coming up on the first um, set of uh, tasks. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of write down a couple of uh, tasks here so you can see them. So the first command I did was the uh, uh, arrowmon-ng check kill. And that killed my WPA supplicant and DH client. And then I did the arrowmon-ng space start. That changed it to the WLAN0 interface. Now I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the arrow dump ng wlan zero all right so with that arrow dump dash ng wlan zero mod all right okay and now I am scanning and I'm picking up my SSIDs. So here, I just want to get a, a real quick screen capture. So I'm going to hit the break sequence, Control C. And now, because you see, I see that Linksys. Um, you see, I see the Linksys uh, adapter, or the Linksys uh, SSID. I want to make some notes. All right. I want to make a couple of notes before I oops, before I uh, take this screenshot so I want to note my BSSID which is the MAC address of the access point and that is 001C 1088 Zero four EB So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's my BSS ID. I also want to note the channel that it's operating on. Okay? So it is operating on channel six. And the SSID, which is Linksys. Alright? So it's on channel six. And the SSID is link S Y S S I S link S Y S. That's right. Okay. So this is just for my benefit in case something doesn't go right. I can I can repeat the process. But in essence, I need to take a screenshot of that. Okay. Edit copy. WordPad. Alright, so that's my first one. So that's my SSID. Found my SSID. Wow, that is a really terrible picture. We'll have to work on the resolution, I guess. Hopefully your resolution will be better than mine. But you get the idea. Alright, um, so the next thing is we would need to do a deauth. Okay? So, in order to do a deauth, I need to have a station on the network that I can kick off. All right. So, in order to have a station on the network, I need to go back to my host and I need to start generating traffic. So, what I always like to do is just pull up something on YouTube. All right. That's going to have be, you know, at least a half an hour or something. So, kill my, get that out, I don't need that. Uh, it should roll over, but, there, that's a fine one. 
So I don't care about watching it. I just need to see that it's generating traffic. All right. So we got this. We look at the channel. We look at the BSS ID. We look at the SS ID. We copy down our um, BSS ID of the access point. And now we're going to run a command um, arrow dump ng channel BSS ID. And we're basically going to set up a tail file. And what that is, is we're going to start dumping frames into a PCAP file that we are going to use later on to crack the WPA4 uh, uh, password. So for that, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to copy this. And since I have VM tools working, I should be able to paste it into my leaf pad. Doesn't really need anything again, just there for we go. demonstration purposes. Uh, later I and from here, I'm just going to change it with all that information that I've been getting, giving myself, right? So, dash C, the channel, which is going to be six. Leash training, choker training. They train dogs in a different way. So dash dash BSS ID. The BSS ID is Linksys. I'm sorry, the BSS ID is that MAC address. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. Copy. And I don't want to take that out of her. Dash W. Now here's where you need to understand understand your Linux um, directory structure. So I'm putting this. I'm writing this to root desktop. All right. And then the monitor interface. My monitor interface is WLAN zero mon. WLAN zero mod. All right, and then all I have to do is I can just copy this on fill swoop. Come down here, paste it. All right, now I'm collecting packets. And you see all these beacons? These are all frames, and that is coming from the um, YouTube video that I have playing in the background. So now I have a couple of different things that I see that are attached to um, my system. Okay, I have uh, two stations. So my guess is, is it's my laptop and probably my phone. All right. So if I go to my settings on my phone real quick, and I look and see what. Yeah. When they're old enough and fully trained. No, it's not my phone. Somebody else wants to play. Okay, that's fine. We can play. Um, so it looks like. This station here is my um, victim. So I'm going to copy that SSID, go back into my leaf pad, and I'm just going to make another note victim. All right, so that's his um, MAC address. Okay, so now that I need to, what I need to do is. Uh, I need to de-auth that system. So now that I've gotten that station ID, the next step is to do the air replay command here and kick them off the network. So this is where it starts. Choker chain, leash. All right, so I got to change some things here. So dash zero is. Uh, dash zero is for the deauth mode. Two is the number of deauth packets. I'm going to change that, and A indicates the uh, access points BSS ID, and C indicates the client's uh, MAC address. Okay, so zero is fine. Two, I'm going to change to twenty. A is fine. The router BSS ID is this one. And then the client, as a, the client okay, later, Mac the client is this one. On the leash, that's later. Right now, it's loose in your hand. Dogs on the left side. And I got to change this from uh, mon zero to WLAN zero mon. On my left, turn around. She follows. And I'm gonna copy that. 
like I say, I don't really have to work on her. All right. Now, I need to leave this running because if I don't leave this running, I'm going to shut off my capture. So I'm just going to open up another terminal. This is the way you want to walk down the street with your dog. New tab. Paste. When somebody wants to pet your dog, yes, you socialize them, but you always do it with you in control. Oh, something went wrong here. Yes, just a second. My dog's in training. Sit. Good girl. Now you can pet the dog. Something went wrong. This shows your dog you are in control. The dog doesn't get any attention unless he or she sits. Okay? When you praise your dog, don't praise him too much. It's just a good girl. That's it. Too much love, no good. Like we talked about this on the forum. So, again, I walk. Uh-oh. Follows. Pause the recording here real quick. I can have it as loose. Resume. Okay, so the problem that I had uh, for the recording is I'm using the Cali VM, and I did not have Aircrack installed. So hopefully I did that, and it looks like I broke open Voss at the same time. So lovely. Uh, all right, so I need to go back, and I need to start my dump again. There we go. And then I need to um, do my air replay command. It's still not working. But now she's going to feel the choke, but I'm not going to give it to her unless I need to, okay? I'm going to start walking, and when she pulls ahead of me, not looking at me, I'm going to do a quick snap. It's not about choking the dog constantly. All it's right. A snap. That's it. So. All right, so after our technical look. difficulties... Someone it seems that it was just a syntax there. error, so be careful she when you're copying and pasting everything. So, if they can't handle, they I didn't really do anything it's other than snap, um, the change this to okay. a 5 and see if I could de-off my uh, station. So you should see and down here that no where it goes away, and if this is, if you uh, have your capture you running in the background, Right, which is still running. You may have to do it a couple of times so you see a WPA handshake up here. Walk with me, and I, when I'm done training, the way I do it, I don't have to speak. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's de -authing. I walk, They walk with me. When I stop, they sit. She's a perfect student. Okay, it's not always that easy. I will tell you. Oh, they got it. But, so okay. it maybe it wasn't my easy. laptop. Maybe it was something else. All you would have to but I I got the handshake, so that's no good. So now I can stop okay. this. The only love okay. From here, I'm going to so take a screenshot of both of these tabs. So I just need to that's see it. that you did the D off. So let's uh, take a picture of that. Copy. Oh, I know why this looks so, terrible because I'm putting it in Word sort of bad. Mean, Make sure you put this in Word. But <laughs> you get the idea though, right? So the third step that I need is the WPA sit. handshake. Sit. Sit. Come on. Sit. Sit. Okay. Sit. And that comes from at me like I'm here. Capture the four-way okay. handshake. Don't repeat yourself more than twice. So that's the and other tab that I have in Cali, which is show her to sit. here. She's really okay, I started that capture, and once I get that WPA handshake, I can come back. Do whatever it takes. No. When you're putting them in the cage, the WPA tool. Persistence. New. You have to follow through. Persistence. Follow through. No matter what, Copy. you are not getting away with this. When I'm putting a new dog away in the kennel. All right, and then the fourth one money. is the um, password the case, crack, or the key crack, I should say. WPA key yes, crack. So we're going to use air crack for that. The day, and with the that, the last step in the process. Okay, we got that. Is we're going to use the air crack command. Based on what we have put in to occurs. This is where it all starts. If you don't have um, this, you won't have file. anything to follow. Uh, 
So I'm going to copy that down. I'm going to uh, change this up a little bit. So the BSSID is that first one, that 001C. Does your dog do this? If your dog doesn't do this, you need to get your dog to do this to fix anything. Any problem. And then I need the path to the word list. The path to the word list. All right. So we need to figure out what that file is. So it looks like from here, I'm just going to go back to... Uh, all right, I'm in root. So I'm going to do ls. Don't see anything. So let's go to cd desktop. Do ls. There's all my cat files. All right. Everything. I think. Yep, there's my cat file, my cat file 2. So from here, what I'm going to do is if I do pwd, I'm in root, forward slash root, forward slash desktop. She loves me. She wants to. So I'm going to use that as my path. Forward slash root forward okay. slash and then after that, it's desktop. All no correction at all. She just this is where it was. And then star slash star dot cap. Okay? So I'm going to now, Gina, if I were to let her off leash, okay? Copy it. She's not ready to be let off leash. Okay? She's not Paste it. If she saw cat, she would chase it. Go after it. Therefore, I've got a dangerous dog in my hand. One potential uh, target. Into, uh, That's not right. That. Next video, um, which is right after this. But that's it for now. Say bye, Gina. Hold one. Okay, I found the error of my ways. I skipped a step. I skipped a step. I did not do a path to the word list. So here, this is, um, I need to do a forward slash root, forward slash desktop, forward slash, I'm going to cheat here and, and okay. I have a common.txt file here. Remember from when we did the brute forcing? Hopefully you remember we did the brute forcing. Uh, we put that on our desktop. So this is a big old dictionary list. So I'm going to put that in there and then a space. And I think that will get me to where I am hoping to be. All right. All right. One potential target. It is not picking up. TXT. There it goes. I don't know why I, I uh, had, a, I guess, I had a space at the very end of it. All right, so this is your last screenshot. This is the, the, the big one you need. Take that and copy it and put it into your WordPad. All right, save that. That's what you'll upload. Now, now, now your check for this. Gosh, I hope I'm still recording. Yes, I am. Good. Um, your check for this. Well, you know it's password because I told you it was password, right? Okay, great. But if you go in here and you look at the properties, bada bing, bada bang, 
It's like pin and teller, man. It's like magic. Okay? So that wraps up uh, number four, lab four. This lab, people struggle with. I'm not going to lie to you. For whatever reason, wireless is finicky sometimes. Working with air crack, as you saw, I had, yeah, I've done this dozens of times, right? And it was still kind of finicky with me because of the, uh, the path, the password file, the captures, all that. It's a little tricky. I'm not going to lie to you. So if you don't get it the first time around, go back, try it again. Okay, so let me end the recording here and I will get this posted.